So I'm here with Hannah and she's the owner of Last Frontier Trail Llamas. So can you tell us a little bit about your business? So my business kind of came out of nowhere. Um, when we moved here, I, I actually started just selling their poop to gardeners and stuff just to help pay for their food. Um, I think that people started wanting to buy their, their llama beans just so they could meet the llamas. Since they like to hike and I need to train them for hunting season, I thought, well, maybe I can start doing hikes with them with people and that got pretty popular. It's usually short hikes. People generally just want to go for like an hour and they want to take pictures of the llamas. It's not anything strenuous. Eventually I would like to do overnight hikes um, and potentially if I have enough llamas at some point rent out llamas for like hunting season for people to use as pack animals or just backpacking trips like to go out fishing or anything like that. People really enjoy it. Um, I think that's my favorite part about it, is how excited people get when they see llamas. We lived in Fairbanks and my husband got a job in Healy and I said, well, I'm not moving to Healy unless I get to get llamas. And he kind of giggled at me and said, okay, sure, whatever, you know, thinking I would never find a llama anyways. So we moved to Healy and sure enough I found like a herd of llamas and alpacas um, that you know, we're being rehomed, and so we got them all because I told my husband, you told me I could get llamas, and I showed him a bunch of videos of llamas packing for hunting. We want to go to areas where not a lot of people can go, and a pack animal sounded like a pretty good idea. I looked into llamas more, and I was like, you know, I can use them for a ton of different things, like I can use their fur, I can use their poop in my garden right away. When we first moved here, it was the first time they had ever seen a moose, and so they did their alarm call. <laughs> What's the alarm call? I don't even want to try to mimic it, but it sounds like a monkey, like, laughing really loud. They have a lot of different ways to communicate, but in general, they're very, very quiet animals. This is Hunji. We call her Hungry Hunji because she's, like, always hungry all the time. Um, she gets a little pushy with the food at times. <laughs> I'm getting llama kisses. Oh yeah, there's pigs in here too. <laughs> you guys have little bunk mates. <sighs> yeah, they love their grain, especially the pregnant ones that are, since she's pregnant and nursing, she needs lots and lots of energy. But eventually I'd like to have a herd of 30 of them if I have enough property. Facebook page and Instagram, it's just Last Frontier Trail Llamas, okay. and then the Instagram is like Last Frontier Trail Llamas with a dot in between each word. <laughs> I'm just gonna kiss her every time really, she puts her snout in, in my like face. That. <laughs> so that's kind of how they get to know you, is they like to smell your face. She loves beards. We just met and I already love you.